hello everyone yeah welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you one of my secret recipes this is that sauce i prepare when i want to make that statement at home you know when you have that special guest and you want to wow the person with your cooking this is that sauce you should make and they will keep asking you how do you make it what is in preparing it and all those kind of questions this is my special bala sauce and i'll be sharing with you how i prepare it yeah so if you are hearing this voice for the first time where have you been my name is grace and i share recipes from my kitchen that you find generally very interesting i just like you to do something for me just hit the subscribe button below yes it is absolutely free i'm not asking you to part with your money just subscribe to our channel let me just give you a few seconds to do so have you done it all right guys let's get started I'll be heating up my vegetable oil that I'll be using to prepare this. I'll be adding in my onions and I blended this. This is four medium sized onions that I blended. You can actually roughly chop yours. But one thing you should note that you've been needing lots of onions for this recipe. So I'm just going to fry it in this oil for a few minutes. And something happened here. I felt so bad. I didn't know how I lost the video clip of when I added in my pepper and my crayfish and prawn. So I'll be telling you guys. After frying in the onion, I added in my blended peppers and I added in my crayfish. I didn't blend the crayfish, I added in the crayfish like that and my prawn, you can see it. And they are already frying in this oil. You know the aroma that comes when you fry your crayfish in hot oil? That is the aroma I am getting actually at this moment in my kitchen. And the aroma is so nice. You should try it. I know I don't like adding crayfish to my stew i find it very well the aroma that comes with crayfish on tomato paste oh is not pleasant to me but and um, the aroma of crayfish in your oil with peppers try it and come back with your testimony so guys i proceed now to add in my chopped tomatoes i chopped this tomato so tiny and i'll be stirring in everything together at this moment I will add in my salt now and my seasoning powder and I'll be stirring everything together properly. This recipe does not require you adding plenty spices, no, it's just going to overwhelm the whole natural taste you are going to have from this. I'll cover this pot now and allow the whole mixture to come together. I left this for just a few seconds. You can see how the whole thing is just sizzling. And the aroma coming from this is so inviting. I will now add in my banla fish. I've already washed and deboned them. I will proceed now to add in this my adobo seasoning. And that's the only seasoning I use in preparing this. I'll go ahead now to add in my boiled eggs. I'll be stirring everything together and I'll add in water. For this quantity of my sauce, what I used was only one cup of water. I'm going to stir everything together and I'll cover the pot. minutes later our sauce is ready 
this is that perfect sauce like i said at the beginning of the video that you use and wow anybody the aroma coming from this can actually set to spots i say so so i'm just going to give it that finishing paparazzi <laughs> i'm just going to stir it together and we'll go ahead and add the dish this will go so well with white rice or any of your main dish you can use boiled plantain white yam but with this sauce i prefer it with white rice and this is that best moment okay aja kongajinese <laughs> thank you for watching this video to this point and if you've not yet subscribed to our channel just go ahead to do so i will see you in my next video for now bye bye happy <laughs>